Can you create the entire G Suite logos using CSS only without even writing the code? I'm talking about Webflow, so stay tuned to find out. Hello beautiful creators, Kavarza here. So Google just rebranded their entire G Suite logos and they are called Google Workspaces or Google Workspace. Um, I had a look and I thought to myself, what an ugly set of, no, I'm kidding, they're, they're fine. Um, I think the only downgrade from the previous design is that they are less distinguishable, they are less unique in some way, but they are more googly for sure. Anyway, uh, I want to recreate them entirely in Webflow using div blocks, not because it's a very practical project, but a fun one for sure. And I learned a bunch um, during uh, this project. So I'm going to share uh, with you what I learned in a second. But first, for those who don't know what Webflow is, it's basically a visual development tool. It allows you to create any layout that you can think of. And then on top of that, add um, interactions and animations and then make it even more interesting. I'm not talking about a dumbed down version of web. I'm not talking about a drag and drop tool. Webflow allows you to basically write clean code, but all visually. So let's see it in Webflow, but I'm not going to recreate the entire project from the beginning, but I, because I don't want to kill all my two subscribers from boredom, but I will show you how I created them and what was my thought process. Okay, let's get started. But first, let me put my fake glasses on. So this is the project and I have animated this one just to, to show you what the different elements are. As you see, the different elements are coming together to create this shape. Um, we won't get to how you animate it, but you can clone the project obviously and then take a look at how I animated this. But for this project, We'll start with the easiest one. So essentially each logo has a fixed width and height and then positioned re um, relative. So when it's positioned relative, it allows me to have other div blocks. So each of these are a div block within a div block. So this is the parent, this is the child, and these are the siblings, right? So you can have a div block here and then I have it set um, to a width and a height and then positioned absolute and then in the uh, top left corner. So it's really easy when you understand how I manage um, to position them, then it become obvious how this entire shape is made, except for one small part that I'll, uh, we'll get to in a second. You see this one is positioned uh, also absolute and this one is sized in a way that it can uh, fill the whole uh, parent div block. So this has 110 pixel height and then this one um, 330 and then you, you know the math, it um, adds to 440. That's that simple. But the tricky part was how to make a triangle out of a, a simple div block because you can't just make a triangle. Um, so it has a fixed width and height again. And then I have added um, some border, custom border here, and you see the border has the same size. And the way it works is one border has one color and another one has the background color. So they, and they have the same size and the whole shape has the same uh, height and width. And the way it works is these two borders, they kind of, push each others so they meet in the middle and because they are in the corner they make this triangle it's simple and at the end i'll show you what uh, funny things you can also create with the same properties let's get to this one this is also really uh, simple and it's pretty close to this uh, logo but the only th difference is here i have a text and i have um, set the position to absolute and then uh, I made it to fill the entire uh, parent div block. That simple. This one, um, this one was just the, the the main part, the body part of the camera. This is a Google Hangout logo. the The body part was simple, but then I had to add a triangle. The first triangle was not hard, but the hard part was be because of 
the shape of the triangle i don't know how to explain just let me show it to you um you see because of the shape of it it had to um it had to cover the whole area and the way i made it um is one color is for here that covers this area and then this uh, light green comes on top of it and here is um, there, there are more hidden areas hidden um, div blocks for example this little div block so let me just grab it here so this is the way I create um, this corner but this is as you see this is just one side of the corner and the other side it's like I <laughs> I half the corner and then one half is made with this div block and then the other half is made by playing let me um, select the parent not the parent but the uh, bigger shape it's made with a triangle in the same way but it has radius it has radius in two corners to create the other half of the curve right and then there was some pixel bleeding I have no idea why well maybe because when you set the background color to something and then push the edges towards each other there is like one very fine line of pixel bleeding for that I just added a div block and then I positioned it just on top so it covers the line that is uh, bleeding pixels but you see it here just I, I'm pretty sure you can't see it in the video but if you check the project you might be able to see it depending on the resolution and the size of your monitor and now this one the gmail logo which is probably my favorite one uh, this is simple this part is simple and then you see they are essentially the same but just position on the two side of the parentive block but at the top we have the same thing as like the triangle but then instead of having the background the white color we have two different colors so it can create this shape for here um, I'll just show it to you it's simpler you can by the way play with the project um, and clone it and then find out more you see that this has some <laughs> some very custom um, radius radius in two corners so it creates this kind of curve and then I filled it with another triangle um, you see here and then this is just a simple small div block and for the other for the middle part of the M I just um, let me show this part to you too now okay this one and for this part of the M I gave it uh, across the z-axis just a bit of um, turn so it creates the shape perfectly let me just undo all these changes and now let's move to the last one and probably the harder one um, this one was pretty hard to make because because of the shape it's just there is no simple way to create it with zip blocks um, this one which is um, repeated in all three corners um, has let me just show it to you has some radius in two corners but instead of pixels I used um, percentages and it works it in a, a bit different way especially when you don't apply it to all four corners it sh it changes the shape in a different way anyway um, you see you can play with it and see how uh, how it's made let me just show you this side too so these are all transformed and then put together to create this shape it's pretty, pretty funny and let me show you what I learned um, doing this project I'll show you these two sections that I didn't you can also um, play with them this one just name test uh, you see th there is a very fun shape and this is not made with two div blocks this is funny enough it's just one div block but playing with the radius uh, in one corner and then have creating trying to create a triangle it creates this shape it's basically just the edges pushing towards each other and at the same time having some radius that's why it 
it looks like this. But a more practical one is this. We've seen this in many other websites, uh, probably used in an older Stripe website as well. And there were, you can create this simply by using two div blocks and giving it giving one of them a reverse um, uh, a reverse CSS style. So this one has 100 VW. That means viewport width. So viewport is the size of your uh, browser window. And we, when we say 100 VW, it's all the way. And then we have 15 uh, VW. I'll just show it to you here. It has 15 VW for the border. And at the same time, um, the parent has 15 w, VW as the minimum height. So it creates, let me mm, maybe move this one so you can see it better. It creates this shape. It's basically a triangle as well. And you can have another one. Let me just bring it back. Um, and then just ignore these part because I set the style to none for these two uh, corners, but these two have the same as um, the top one. So they create this nice shape and you can use it and then probably uh, add a text in the middle or do whatever you like with it. Okay. So that was it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. This is YouTube and you know the drill. Please make sure to comment, um, share the video, like it if you liked it, if you enjoyed it. If you didn't, make sure to watch it again. And again, please consider subscribing uh, to the channel if you are interested in any of these topics. Um, design, UX, web engineering, tech, streaming, physics, astronomy, science, math, photography, media.